I grew up here. I went to DY High School, went to Westfield State to study biology and chemistry. Uh, I grew up on Cape Cod and went to Barnstable High School. I uh, was involved with some really amazing science programs out at Sandy Neck and at other places. And I really had a, a, a love of, you know, the outdoors. You know, life kind of brought me back to the Cape. It's one of those things, you know, you, you, I even said in college, I, I'm not going back to the Cape. And then they say, once you get that sand in your shoes, you can't get it out. I'm a Cape Cod local and I've been into the environment ever since I was young. I went to school for biology. This is a growing field in the environmental field. I grew up in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. I went to school at New England College for biology with a focus in marine biology. I had actually met somebody special and I moved down to the Cape about seven years ago. It's been a great job. One of the great parts of it is it's very hands-on. You learn every aspect of the business. Uh, every person here, whether you sit at a desk for a few hours a day or you're out at the machine, you're involved with the oysters from when they're brought in as microscopic seed to when they ship out the door as market oysters. Kind of explored a lot of options after college, a lot of fields, and this one kind of just spoke the most to me. It's, uh, you know, you get to work with your hands out on the water. You know, you can't beat work working out on the water in the summer on Cape Cod. Nitrogen is such a big problem on Cape Cod. Uh, it's really our, one of our biggest local problems with our local waterways. And this is a great way to both provide people food and help the environment through nitrogen mitigation. My biggest piece of advice for a young professional in any of the science fields is, you know, to do something that you're passionate about. For me, straight out of college, I worked in a laboratory that was kept at 80 degrees with no windows. The work was extremely important. It just wasn't for me. I then, you know, I got my feet wet, literally speaking, in the aquaculture industry and I learned about it. I love Cape Cod, I love the environment of Cape Cod. Being right on the water is such a blessing that we have and I really want to be a part of uh, maintaining the environment around here. Just from what I've seen, even, even friends not moving back here and some of it being that there's more opportunity and you know more offerings in, in other places. So even though they may want to come back or there might be a desire, um, unfortunately, so, some industries, it's hard to come back down here and really you know, make a way. That's one of the beautiful things about aquaculture and kind of some of the, the budding industry off of that. A lot of towns are opening up beds because of that nitrogen mitigation. It's not only cleaning up the environment, but also it's drawing some young professionals back to be able to work, you know, where they grow up and uh, be doing something good for the environment and you know make a little money at the same time. <laughs>